the slurp you All the snowmen dancing round, planting candy cane. And the sleigh is ready, jolly fellow at the rain. All the ballerinas dancing under pale moonlight. Come along, don't be long, it's a sigh. Welcome back to Fortnite Tales. This is Team Alindal. We are playing Fortnite and just talking about stuff. Uh, we're specifically talking about U.S. history and early colonial days in the last episode. We saw that Winthrop was deposed for exceeding his authority. Of course, a change of management by popular mandate does not mean it improves how the government works. In the next three years, between 1634 and 37, the colony was shaken by a series of arguments over rebellious and antinomian figures, Roger Williams and Anne Hutchinson. From the view of good government, you needed a mixture of firmness, common sense, and fairness. The feeling was that Winthrop's successors lacked all three. <laughs> the colonists were becoming too antinomian, and the, and the reason this was bad was because antinomians held that the only thing that mattered in religion was the inner light of faith, which was a direct gift from God's grace. What you did mattered less than what you believed. Okay. Where should we go? You know what? We should probably go to our normal house. Let's go to our normal house. Let's go. The more orthodox views held that good works and exemplary behavior were also necessary and were visible outward evidence of true faith and godliness. Belief was not enough. You actually had to perform good work. In this case, the government needed to enforce these good behaviors. The battle between these two theories of government raged stronger in Massachusetts than anywhere else in the world. The argument came to a head in the first contested election on American soil on May 17, 1637. The issue was religious, but behind it was the question of good orderly government. Okay, let's see. We're coming in here. Hopefully we will have a weapon. That is not a weapon. It splashes. This is a weapon. Let's grab it. Oh, pistol. Let's go. Okay, what's in our oath-bound chest? Good pistol. Let's go. Excalibur and a pot. Let's go. What do we got in here? Uh, scar. That works. Okay, we've got the scar. Nothing over here. Let's go ahead and drink this big pot. Kind of reorg here. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab these splashes that were out here. Did I just see somebody? Yeah, right there. Let's go fight him. Somebody over there? No. You still in here? There you are. Hello. Let's fight. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can not hit a wall. Yes! Let's go. We got ourselves a win. First elim. Right off the bat. Let's go ahead and try to heal back up. I'm going to try to save these splashes for greater need. Go ahead and reload. This might be bouncing around. Let's see. Are you out here? No, let's go check out this other house. Back there, no. Okay, let's go see if there's no found chest up here. There's another pistol in there. Already got a blue pistol though. Take the ammo. Okay, what do we oh we do have an oathbound chest and in here we get Okay, shield. So over here. Uh, nothing really. Let's go ahead and grab the pot. Pop the pot. Somebody's still bouncing around out there. Grab the shotgun. Okay, let's go ahead and 
drink this another pot. Am I still bouncing around out there? We got a shield reorg here. Okay. Let's see what else we got down here. Another chest over here. Oh wait, that's somebody over there. Let's uh, shoot him. Got him. Oh, he's white. He's gotta be low. How's he not dead? He's gotta be low. Let's go finish him off. Come on. Let's build over to him. Fell. That stinks. Oh my god. I'm dead. Oh. I survived. Somehow I survived. Holy cow. Okay. He was almost dead, but he almost finished me in the process of being almost dead. Let's go get some heals here. What do we got? Okay, some shrooms. That's good. Some corn. Good as well. Okay, back up to 100 health. Is there anything in here? Uh, no. Let's go check out this chest. Maybe there's something in here. Okay, nothing in here. Go ahead and check out our augments. Those socked storm mark. I guess we'll go that route. Okay. Reload that. <laughs> We're off to a good start. We've fought twice and almost been killed twice. <laughs> oh, not the start you really wanted. But that's okay. Okay, let's go over here. There's a chest over here. See if we can get some more heals. Let's go ahead and consume one of these first. Try to get ourselves some more health. We're just gonna be scavenging off the land. I think that's our best bout. Up oh, there's somebody right there. Missed. Missed again. Where do they go? Missed again. Okay, let's the pistol. Where'd you go? Build, let's go up. Okay, shut down, back in. Fire. Okay, that didn't work. Let's build up some more. Going up. Shoot. Where'd you go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay, he's in there. Let's go around back. Let's go ahead and heal up. Got these splashes. Boom, got him. Hit him again. Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead. <gasps> Hold on. 17 health. Good thing I used those splashes. Holy cow. Somehow I'm alive. I don't know how. Oh my goodness. Blue shotgun. No. Let's do... Yeah, let's go with the blue shotgun. Okay. Uh, we're low on health. Hmm. Weapons. Okay. The argument between these two sides came to a head in the first contested election on American soil on May 17th, 1637. More minis. The issue, the issue was religious, but behind it was the question of good orderly government. If the antonyms had their way, religion and government would cease to be based upon reasoned argument, learning, and the laws of evidence. Instead, it would rest on heightened emotion, where everyone was inspired by the Holy Spirit. As we continue to forest off the land. <laughs> on this day in Cambridge, the antonyms were weak in number and were trounced in the election. Winthrop was easily re-elected governor so he could continue his policy of imposing orthodoxy on the colony. Okay, what do we got in here? We got some more splashes. This will get us up. She gets us pretty close to full health. Let's go. Okay. Also around here, let's go ahead and eat this and get to full health. Okay. Full health we are. We go over here. Let's go ahead and grab some mats. Yeah, but orthodoxy was not the only measure of a man's fitness to govern. His natural authority was based also upon 
what they called in England, squire. Which meant he had the financial means to uphold his station in society. Let's go ahead and grab this and get out of here. Okay, so we're going to head over here to the right. Actually, let's go get his DMR. That's going to be better than this Excalibur. Okay, DMR. That's a gold weapon. Uh, yeah, let's pick up the gold burst instead. That's going to be better than the DMR. Okay, uh, let's go grab this so we can run. Okay, let's sprint. Let's go. In 1639, Winthrop discovered his English agent had cheated him and that his affairs were a bit muddled, shall we say. The agent was convicted of fraud. I'll go ahead and do this here. Bush Warriors, the obvious one there. Uh, I tricked out. Oh, that's not going to do me any good. I guess we'll reroll. We got plenty to go. Let's reroll. Bloodhound like flight fingers is the answer here. I think I got a pistol. Let's go that route. Yes. Okay. So yeah, his agent was convicted of fraud. He was sentenced to have his ears cut out, cut off. But you know that didn't help Winthrop. Uh, he found himself twenty six hundred pounds in debt. That's equivalent today of about three quarters of a million dollars. Not a small sum of money by any means. <laughs> What do we got here? Bloodhound demolition munitions. Uh, Bloodhound, I guess. Didn't really like any of those, but that's okay. He was forced to sell land on both sides of the Atlantic, and his um, financial plight became obvious to pretty much everyone. You know, when you're selling stuff off, that probably isn't a good sign. <laughs> His friends and allies raised 500 pounds to tie him over, but Winthrop's opponents began pointing fingers. The Puritans in America saw prosperity as God smiling on an individual while flandering meant they did not enjoy God's favor. So in 1640, Winthrop was demoted to deputy governor because of his financial struggling. What do we got going on here? Go ahead and get some mats. Moving over here. Maybe kind of rotate around with the storm a little bit. Grab some more stone. We've got some mats, but it'd be nice to have a few more. Especially brick. Man, I hate those things. Always sounds like something's there. Okay, where do we want to go? Uh, man. i really love to go to the death side over here, but that's across a lot of water. We're just going to have to go closer. Anybody over here? I don't see anybody. Winthrop struggled back into the governorship two years later when his fortunes revived. Embittered by how he was treated before his downturn in fortune, he became more severe with dissenters. One such individual was unorthodox preacher Samuel Gordon. Let's see what's up here. This. Winthrop commanded he shut up or leave the colony. That's a pretty fierce thing to force upon somebody basically banishment which would be pretty harsh back then because most of your supplies and stuff like that were in civilization it was really hardcore to, <laughs> to tell somebody to leave Gorton's congregation not really all that happy with that sent a letter to the Massachusetts governor government 
they compared Samuel to Christ and Winthrop to Pontius Pilate. If you know anything about the Bible, Christ was pretty much the Savior, and Pontius Pilate was the prosecutor who sentenced Jesus to death. It referred to Winthrop as an idol set up in Massachusetts and supporters as a generation of vipers. Winthrop was... Uh, he was pretty much enraged by these, what he called horrible and detestable blasphemies. <laughs> Winthrop sent 40 soldiers to arrest them and put them in irons. <laughs> But that didn't stop Samuel from preaching. So Winthrop had them removed from prison and sent out to the wilderness, basically forcefully banished. Winthrop's high-handedness in dealing with Gordon led to his being demoted once again to deputy governor in 1644. There's all this fighting going on around me. Okay, we're gonna have to move forward again. Yay. Sitting up there. Winthrop published a treatise defending his actions, saying that a wise magistrate had no alternative but to stamp out a firebrand like Gordon before Gordon would set the whole house on fire. He said a wise man had to be discretionary, had to be given discretionary power to follow God's law as they saw it. Some of his fellow magistrates were righteously outraged by his view. They noted that if anyone else had made these statements, they would have lost their ears if not their head. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to move forward some more. What's that? Oh, that's an NPC. Let's see if we can get down here and hide a bit. What's that? Is that a, okay, it's just purple rarity. what's going on up there fighting up here but Winthrop survived this controversy okay <laughs> not only did he survive the controversy, but he once again won back favor and regained the governorship in 1646. More of the Okay. That's crazy. He held the office until his death three years later. So as we can see, Winthrop was in and out of the governorship for a big chunk of his adult time in the colony. So we got a sliding in through there. So he's above me. That's not good. I'm down below this rock. I don't think they saw me. But I am concerned <laughs> about what can come down from above. We're still going to move through forward. Oh, that's somebody right there. Hello. And of course they're fighting above me. And they killed somebody up there. He's fighting over here. Can you get a shot off? No. So we're kind of being on both sides. Two people. Somebody over there and somebody above us. Somebody from above us is healing, I guess. This guy up there. Yeah, I don't see anybody else close. Okay. Okay. What do we got? There's right there. Is that a second person? Somebody across the corner, somebody up there. There's four other people left. Can we get a shot off on them? Behind me. Oh! Wow! Somebody. What the heck? Did you see me? There's two people here. Forward here. Let's go ahead and climb up. Okay. Good 
they go up. Let's gotta get here. Oh, in the water. Get up, build, build, build. Get out of the water. Get out of the water. Oh, I hate the water. There we go. Ow. Hold the wall, hold the wall. How are you hitting me? Ugh. Oh. I'm in the water. I get out of the water. I get out of the water. I get out of the water. No! No! 26 health? Are you kidding me? Really? 26 health? Ugh. I hate the water. Someone avenge me. This guy's low. He's no way he wins. There's somebody right there. He's gonna win. What just happened? Did they just eliminate each other? <laughs> just eliminate each other. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. That guy up there's gotta be so confused. How did I win this? How did I win that? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> oh, good times. Okay, in the next episode of Fortnite Tales, we'll be looking at Winthrop's legacy with the colony. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, hit subscribe. And as always, have a great day if you want to.